Happy Mother's Day this Sunday, St. Andrew. The term Mother's Day in the United States dates back to the 1850s. Back in the 1850s, Anne Jarvis organized what she called Mother's Day Work Clubs. And these clubs, which were run by women, especially mothers, they worked to protect the lives of young children. Infant mortality in the 19th century was 20% for white mothers and over 30% for black mothers. So Ann Jarvis and her Mother's Day work clubs educated communities about sanitation, disease transmission. They conducted milk safety inspections, and they raised money for people that couldn't afford their own medication. During the Civil War, their calling expanded, and the Mother's Day work clubs turned their attention to preventing typhoid fever outbreaks in the camps of both Confederate and Union soldiers. Typhoid fever was horrific. It killed approximately 60% of the people it infected, including famously William Wallace Lincoln, the son of President Abraham Lincoln. But typhoid is transmitted through improper sanitation so the disease could be quickly halted by a bunch of mothers showing up at a camp full of soldiers and telling them to clean things up properly. After the war, Anne Jarvis organized the Mother's Friendship Day. It was an opportunity to reunite families that had been divided between Confederate and Union sides. She was an amazing woman, an amazing person. And so when she died, her daughter, Anna Jarvis, wanted to really honor her mother in a way that was worthy of her. And she began the first Mother's Day. And it was meant to be a holiday where people really told their mothers how they felt. Of course, Mother's Day almost immediately spun totally out of control. And soon the holiday transformed into an opportunity to purchase flowers and greeting cards. And Anna Jarvis just hated what the holiday became. She railed against the greeting card industry, calling them charlatans, bandits, pirates, racketeers, kidnappers, and termites. And once... Anna went into a restaurant on Mother's Day and she saw that they were selling a Mother's Day salad on the menu. So she ordered the Mother's Day salad and when it arrived, she dumped it on the floor and stormed out of the restaurant. By the end of her life, Anna was organizing petitions to rescind Mother's Day because she wished that people could honor their mothers without a gift, without a card printed by Hallmark, because it is so easy and so lazy to buy something. But for her, the point of the holiday is to tell your mom how you feel. So if you have a mom or if you know a mom who is like Ann Jarvis, smart, motivated, passionate, generous, and helpful, Tell her, like actually write it down on paper, write it down on a card and tell her. If you have a mom or a mom in your life who's working to fight back against this pandemic, let her know that you're grateful for what she's doing every day. I happen to have a mother who meets both criteria. And it would be a shame if I spent this entire week just wondering what gift to buy, especially when she's still around to say thank you to. So, thank you, Mom. Thank you to all the moms that are watching. Have a happy Mother's Day.